Every day we waste a lot of water on things like cleaning our dishes, and all that water goes down the drain. But what if that water came back to the tap? That could become a reality here in the next decade. But we know that many of you had questions about recycled water, so we took those questions to the experts. Absolutely not. No, 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 no. How can it possibly be filtrated? I mean, filtered properly. The most common concern we heard was how can recycled water actually be cleaned well enough to drink? To get clarity, we went to Scottsdale's water campus. The most common misconception we deal with is the ick factor and it's not clean. We clean it, it's ultra pure water that we clean and it uh, meets the drinking water standards. Before reclaimed water can be used, it has to go through a multi-step process using microfiltration, reverse osmosis and UV disinfection. But it wasn't until March that Arizona's Department of Environmental Quality proved a new rule allowing it to be used for drinking. We have a lot of work to do to get our facility up to speed. We have additional treatment and monitoring methods that are part of the new rule for advanced water treatment and supplying that to directly to a drinking water supply. Right now, the purified water at the campus is only used for non-drinking purposes like irrigating golf courses. Any water not used is sent back into the aquifer. And that blend of recycled water can sit in the aquifer for up to 10 years, naturally filtering even further before returning to the treatment facilities and eventually into homes. Essentially, the water treatment process that we're doing is what Mother Nature already does. We take it and condense it and make it done quicker to meet the demands of our customers. So with that in mind, in a way, recycled water is already reaching some of our taps. But now with these new rules, utilities can work in to shorten that process from a decade to just a few hours by blending and treating it to even stricter standards. With the new rule that's going into effect, there's more monitoring and redundancy that we have to do online. Not only with samples, it's online instrumentation. So there are more requirements, more stringent, just to be on the safeguard that, hey, nothing gets by. While Scottsdale Water hasn't applied for a permit yet, leaders say they are actively preparing and learning more about what's required under the new rules. In Scottsdale, Justin Holmes, ABC 15, Arizona.